What's up, everybody? Patty Stash coming at you. This is your daily reminder. The window of opportunity is closing. I just posted a Bitcoin chart. Very bullish setup. The chart will break the top of that channel, and when it does, everything will pick up once again. But this time, because we hit 66,000 as a high previously, we will break 66 if we do. If we break the previous high that we just made, it will be the first time since March that we broke this trend line. It's a big deal. I talk about it all the time. I've been talking about it for months now. But again, most of what I say goes in one ear out the other, except for a small group of individuals that have that long-term presence in the market that I have as well. They have the long-term vision. They understand that an opportunity once every four years presents itself where if you play your cards right, you could forever change your life. But it's a four-year thing. If you miss your opportunity, you might have to do what I did and stick around for another four years. But then again, I enjoy this space. Well, I enjoy it a lot. It has changed, you know, for the negative in many respects. The advancements in technology from 2017 to now has been cool. But the negative stigma that the crypto market still gets, it's apparent. It's obvious why it happens. You hear so much negativity on TV, but that's just such a small element of what really goes on. It's like the media in the United States where life is good, but if you watch TV, they showcase the 0.1% as if it's the 99% of reality, and it's not. So that's the same thing with crypto. A lot of good stuff goes on in the crypto market, but You've got a lot of shitty stuff too, and the media loves to talk about the shitty stuff because that's the stuff that gets people interested, and unfortunately, that's what gives us this negative stigma. So, anyway, uh, the point of this video is pay attention to the chart that I just posted. I don't care if you do, if you don't, whatever, but if you follow me, you're probably going to see that it will break the upper part of this trend line, and it will go higher, and if we do break 66K, the market is going to go insane. The media is going to go bonkers, and everything that you own will start to go up in price. As Bitcoin pumps everyone in the world. I make the same video literally every single time. When Bitcoin eventually breaks this resistance, the excitement, euphoria, the emotions will start coming through again. Prices start to go higher. Everybody in the world starts talking about crypto, 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 crypto. We're already in the market, so we've already positioned ourselves in a much better spot than the new money coming in that may end up getting rugged like what happens in every other market cycle previously because of the emotion. People are making money. Everyone at one point during each market cycle to date has had an opportunity where you can fucking blindly throw your eyes, throw, your, throw a dart at something and you make money. Nobody can forget that. That mindset will come back and when it does, the money floods in. And I sit back and watch as these tokens that have multiple elements of demand start to go higher. It's going to be that easy. We have a window of opportunity that's coming. Since the end of the market cycle, which I would say was the beginning of 2021 when we peaked at 69K or whatever, since then, the market has literally bled out. We now, as Bitcoin as a whole, is literally back to where it previously was years ago. Think about that now. Years have gone by and the price now is still lower than the previous highs, which means we haven't even broke those previous highs officially yet. We did briefly back in March, but since then we've been ping-ponging down in this channel beautifully. And right now we're on the bottom part of the channel about to bounce back up and then break the upper part of the channel, which is gonna to lead to the craziness in the market.